back on Good Morning Sri Lanka and of course the final segment we have someone who is very interesting these days he's been on the news with his wife as well as his son in tow and of course I can't be talking about anyone else except Prince Charles of England and he had a very interesting activity to do in the past week so let's go see what it is Prince Charles visited a zoo in Manitoba Canada on Wednesday where he had a rare opportunity to feed a polar bear. He used a pair of long metal tongs to pinch a small fish, then fed it through a metal fence to the polar bear who was awaiting the meal. When asked if it was the first polar bear he has fed, Charles responded with a chuckle, saying, I don't do it very often. The polar bear environment is part of the new Journey to Churchill exhibit that is set to open on July 3rd. The project includes elements of research, education and conservation with a focus on climate change, polar bears and other species in northern Canada. Early in the day, Charles and his wife, Duchess Camilla, visited Winnipeg's Stevenson Hangar for Manitoba's Aerospace Day. The event came after a report that Charles, the heir to the British throne, had likened Russian President Vladimir Putin to German Nazi leader Adolf Hitler over his stance on Ukraine, according to a British newspaper. So we can really hope and pray that the situation that Prince Charles predicted does not come to light and that a solution is uh, found for the problems that exist between Ukraine as well as Russia and everything will be peaceful in that quarter of the world very soon. But speaking about another tragedy that occurred now the September 11 airplane crashes that occurred in America, although it was almost a decade ago uh, since it did occur, many lives were taken and it was a tragedy that was very hard to recover from for the country as a whole. But they have done so very well and now a memorial museum has been opened up for the September 11 crash to really highlight and to bring uh, to bring to attention and awareness to the entire world about what happened that day on that fateful day so let's go see what it looks like a museum memorializing the September 11 2001 attacks opened Wednesday to the public with a somber flag ceremony and amidst some criticism over its gift shop that some people believe symbolizes crash commercialism. To mark the public opening of the National September 11 Memorial Museum, the National 9-11 flag, donated by the New York Says Thank You Foundation, was unfurled in a ceremony at the Memorial Plaza in downtown Manhattan. The the flag was flying from a building near the World Trade Center site on September 11, 2001, when it was grievously damaged by the airplane strikes. It was later retrieved and as part of a comprehensive flag project, was pieced together in patches by people across the United States who were touched by other disasters and tragedies. It now also includes three threads from the original Star Spangled Banner. Basically, you're, you're profiting off the death of 2,000 people plus who uh, just were doing their normal thing that day and they were killed by people who were out to kill them. And it, somebody's making money now. Granted, probably the proceeds will help pay for upkeep and all, and I can understand that. It just seems like there could be a different way to do it. Because I don't think it's a good idea for people to make money off the memorial. It's a tribute to the people who were killed here. And I just think that would cheapen the value of the memorial as a whole. And we, we want to think about the people, not about souvenirs or making money or anything like that. Well, it's uh, using uh, a really horrible event to, to make money. And uh, that just doesn't feel very good. But it's the gift shop of the museum that is causing controversy. One section of people think it's unfair to sell memorabilia at the site of such a great tragedy. Others had issues with the price tags of some of the items, such as a wool scarf pegged at 
25 US dollars. The wide range of items on sale includes a survivor tree ornament for $40 and plush dog toys for $19.95. Categories include apparel, books, gifts, paper goods, personal accessories and DVDs. Museum organizers have argued that the money from the gift shop is needed to fund the maintenance of the 9/11 memorial and museum and that the organization is a not-for-profit that is receiving no federal or city funds. I have no problem with it. We were in Washington DC at the Holocaust Museum. They have a gift shop there. If the proceeds go to keeping it open or maybe to help the families, I think that would help as well. I think they need to maybe publicize some of that as far as where the proceeds are going to go. It might help the public to accept it a little bit more. If it's to support the museum, I think it's excellent. You know, um, anything to keep the memory alive of everyone who lost their lives. Um, gift shops are part of museums. People expect to be able to take something home with them as a memento. So I don't really see how you can have a museum without a gift shop. Um, you know, so it, it, for me, it, didn't, it doesn't bother me to have a gift shop there, but I can understand why it does bother some people. Some visitors agree with the need to help fund the museum with profits from the gift shop. Some 35,000 people closely involved in creating the museum, including victims' relatives and U.S. President Barack Obama, got a first look at it on May 15th during its official dedication ceremony. So with that story about a memorial to a tragedy that occurred, maybe it was in 2001, but that still lives on in the hearts and minds of the victims of the families and the families who have lived through that particular tragedy. So it's always nice to hear about different stories that happen all around the world. We hope that this was an interesting morning for you as well to start off your mon Monday with uh, something to think about during the day as well. So with that, we are going to wrap up this morning's segment of Good morning, Sri Lanka. This is Amaya saying goodbye. We'll see you tomorrow as well with another great episode. Till then, take care.